Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bronco Garage. And today we're gonna to talk about the 5000A system on this beautiful Bronco behind me. It is the beginning stages of the Duck Tough Performance System. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take it up on the lift and show you some of the key features. Let's take a closer look. So we've got a 1973 Bronco here and it was actually restored by Lick Creek and uh, it's got a great pet name. It's called the Teacher's Pet. Uh, that's because the owner is an actual teacher. Some of the really cool specs and features of the suspension system that's under it, it's from James Duff, is it's a 5000A. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's just one of the premium lift options that James Duff has to offer. I'm gonna show you some of the really cool features about this, but it basically comes down to new coil springs, new leaf springs, new shocks, which you can choose between a classic 7030 or an MS2020, boots included. And of course you get new bushings, you get U-bolts, and you have an adjustable track bar. Now, what's really great about this system is it modulates, and I'll show you what that means here in just a second. Let's get under the vehicle and show you some of these cool features. All right, so we're gonna start at the front, but before we get started, I'm going to help you guys build this kit by actually showing you how to go through the drop-down options on DuffTuff.com. Now, we're gonna start here in the front and show you some of the cool features, and we're gonna start with, of course, your coil springs, right? Brand new coil springs from James Duff, and then you've also got the lower coil spring retainer, but it's actually an add-on. So you can choose to use your stock retainers or you can go ahead and upgrade to the heavy duty ones. Now it already comes with brand new upper retainers for the coil springs, but you see a few things here that aren't gonna be included, which includes the steering system and the front sway bar. All those parts are gonna be optional when you build your 5000A. Now let's check out the other parts of this kit. You've got radius arm bushings, because of course you're gonna need new bushings front and rear when you put all this together. Now, there's a few things here that are add-ons that I wanted to point out that uh, don't come with the kit, but you can certainly include them. Uh, front bump stops, four inch bumps, you can include those. You can also move up to a James Duff T-Rex arm instead of the stock radius arm. Now, the stock radius arm, as you can see, is straight where the T-Rex arm has a bend in it. That's for you to be able to run larger tires, but it's also a fully bolt-on, no weld system. So it's really, really easy to install. Not only that, but it gives you better ride and better on-road matters. And you also choose to upgrade your drive shafts if you'd like. Now, you might not have to, but I would say that is a good chance. And especially when you go to the new T-Rex arms, you're gonna have better caster. So better caster gives you increased pinion angle. And sometimes you're gonna to have to run an extreme angle drive shaft to go with it. Let's check out the back. So this 5000A rounds out with the progressive leaf springs from James Duff. And these are Deaver leaf springs. They are 11 leaf pack, all American made. I mean, even the, the, the material is mined right here in the States. Uh, what's really great about these is they have this progressive technology. So they give you a really nice, comfortable ride while you're going down the road, but they also can handle the added weight or when you're going through the bumps, soaks it up and absorbs it really well. You gotta match that with a really good shock, which we're gonna talk about more here in just a second. But more importantly, you get new U-bolts and you can upgrade to heavy duty spring plates at the same time if you'd like. Now there's a really cool feature on this Bronco, the Luber alignment plates. This is an add-on that you can go with a little extra lift or if you wanna move your axle forward or back a little bit so it centers up in the fender opening just perfect. Let's check out the shocks. All right, so rounding out this kit is the shocks. Now this is an important feature that you are gonna to wanna to spend a little time figuring what's best for you. You can choose a 7030 classic Duff shock or you can choose the new high performance shock, the MS2020. Now either one is great. It just depends on your drive style or what you plan on doing with the Bronco. If you plan on taking it car cruises or just going down the street, getting groceries, the classic 7030 is a great choice and it can handle some, you know, all-terrain off-roading and all that as well but if you really want some performance or you just want to go high speeds or out on the off-road trails and really get after it ms2020 can do it all now you'll notice that this bronco actually has a different shock on it than the ones in the kit now that's okay of course it'll work but if you really want to get the full benefit of this system you're going to want to go with a shock that is tuned to the coil springs and the leaf springs. One of the other things that is a drawback to the other shocks out there is you'll notice that the finish on it after hanging out on some roads or going out in the winter rides starts to diminish. And uh, that's just one of those things that uh, you, know, you, can't, you can't get away from unless you go with a Duff shock. 
All right, so the big thing that I want you to take from this is the 5000A is the gateway to the Ductuff performance system. Now, if you are gonna wanna start out, you know, with something that just gets you up in the air, gets you bigger tires, has a nice drive, but you wanna get to Ductuff eventually, this is a system for you. It's modular in that way, and you can actually build it up like this Bronco has, where it's already got the system, and then it's moved on to the T-Rex arms. You can upgrade to sway bars, you can go to Heim steer, and then there's other things as well. Now, what the really important part about it that you should take from this though, is if you think that you're gonna get really close to a duck tough by choosing those add-ons, maybe you should consider just going to the duck now because there's a savings of up to five to $800 between shipping costs and of course, all of those parts being combined in a kit together. So consider that as you're trying to build your Bronco for the best ride for you. Looking at the 5000A suspension system on DuffTuff.com here, there are a couple different drop downs that you're gonna to wanna to select in order to get this just right for you. Now, before you do any of that, make sure that you go down below all of the drop down options and read the copy. There's a lot of good information in there that is gonna help you better decide what exactly you need and how to option this out exactly the right way. Now, once you've got all that figured out, you're gonna to wanna to go back up and start choosing your options. Now, of course, first things first, you're gonna choose your color. That's pretty much up to you, but there are only two options, which are gonna be the Signature Series Duff Blue or the Midnight Black. Now, from there, you're gonna choose your leaf springs and you're gonna have an option between heavy duty and medium duty. Now, again, down in the copy, there's an FAQ and it gives you the information you need to choose that correctly. From there, you're gonna choose the year, just to choose the year that is on your VIN, okay? That's, that's exactly what year you need to choose. But what's important here is you wanna make sure that you're choosing the correct year for the shock mounts. Now, the first half year of 1966, the mounts were a little different. So it's important that you choose that year so you get provided with the correct shocks. All right, next you're gonna choose shocks. Now, you have a choice between the Duff Classic 7030s or you can choose the new MS 2020s. Now, if you're not sure which one's best for you, I've got a great video you can watch. Check out the video card above where Tom Hyde from Lick Creek Restorations and I sit down and really dive into those shocks and some of the other competitors out there. Uh, so that way you can get a better understanding of what, what's good for you. Just remember that if you don't have the factory shock mounts on your Bronco, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure of that before you place your order because this uses those factory mounts. If you got anything else, it's likely gonna be wrong and the shock's not gonna work. Now, from there, we're gonna go to the heavy duty track bar end, which is this guy right here. Very popular upgrade for a lot of Bronco enthusiasts. And uh, again, I think that's a, an excellent choice for any Bronco, really. We're gonna also choose the new leaf spring shackles, which I have right here. These are heavy duty, but they're OEM. So it's a great option for you because typically the factory sh uh, shackles are pretty beat up and uh, the rubber is shot and gone. So now you're gonna go ahead and choose uh, shackle bolts. Again, if your shackle hardware and your leaf spring hardware is original, it's be a good time to just go ahead and replace that. Heavy duty spring retainers. Now that's also what I've got right here. This is not included in the system. So if you want to upgrade, this is the time to do it. The two piece spring retainers are pretty, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're clunky. They're kind of hard to install. They're also, um, they rust out really easy. So they start bending and sh misshaping the, the way that your coil spring actually sits in the bucket. So this is just kind of, again, another no brainer. Just add those in the cart and uh, don't ever look back. From here, if you have uh, a drop pitman arm from, say, a previous lift, uh, go ahead and add a stock pitman arm because you're going to want that when you go to this. There's no drop pitman arm and there's no drop track bar bracket for this system. They don't need it. So make sure that you replace that drop with a stock pitman arm. And that's another great option here. Rounding out this kit is the heavy duty U bolts and U bolt plates as an add on option. You don't need either one if you've got U bolts and U bolt plates already. But if you do need those, this is a good time to add those in now. In fact, I've got a great video about those as well. So make sure that you check out that video card too, and that'll give you all the information you need on which one to choose and what's right for you. All right, guys, that wraps it up here at the Bronco Garage. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what you're building and whether you're getting yourself into the works for a new duck or this 5000A. We certainly can help you with that. We'll see you guys at the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for joining us.